uh, we just appreciate everyone coming along with us to celebrate NASA's first ever asteroid sample return. It has been incredible. But we think we've got a lot of sample in that, in that science canister and we can't wait to, to crack into it. For me, the real science is just beginning. Uh, People have asked about, you know, the planetary protection. We did go through extensive planetary protection reviews. We were unrestricted Earth return because Bennu is a near-Earth asteroid. Probably material from this asteroid has been delivered to the Earth at some point in the past. It's also a very small body that's constantly exposed to ionizing radiation, and no life forms that we, we know of would be able to survive that kind of environment. So very, very low uh, risk. In fact, we're more worried about Earth biology contaminating the sample. The key objective for me and one of the driving objectives of this program is to try to understand, did carbon-rich asteroids like Bennu deliver the compounds that may have led to the origin of life on our planet? We currently have a, a team of spacecraft engineers, scientists, and uh, curatorial personnel working right now in a temporary clean room here at Dugway to make the sample capsule ready for transport down to the Johnson Space Center so that we can open it up and reveal this treasure. They're processing the capsule, uh, removing portions of the um, uh, canister so that they can get a uh, continuous flow of nitrogen 